Today, Puerto Ricans observe the 75th anniversary of their U.S. citizenship and express the desire for full rights under the U.S. Constitution. Andrew Card, new Transportation Secretary, represented President George Bush. There are some 3.6 million people in Puerto Rico who are among the most patriotic of all Americans, who respect their citizenship and love their country. And I'm hoping that all America, uh, and the mainland in particular, can see the love that these people have for their country and how they want that relationship to be a permanent relationship, uh, knowing that permanency can only come through self-determination that would result in statehood. In a recent referendum, voters rejected separatist language, limiting full political union with the U.S. Statehood advocates now wish to finish a process which began in 1898 when Puerto Rico became a territory of the U.S. after the Spanish-American War. They will raise the issue in the November elections and push for a plebiscite on the question. Miriam Ramirez de Ferrer is a statehood activist. So our group decided some years ago to start collecting individually signed petitions to Congress and we have delivered to date 350,000 petitions of statehood to Congress. Former Puerto Rico governor Luis Ferre is the founder of the modern statehood party. The general feeling in Puerto Rico has been to have permanent union with the United States and we believe that permanent union can only be achieved through statehood. Not being a state of the union is not being able to exercise our sovereign rights. Secretary Card left the island after delivering a letter from President George Bush. Before, I would personally like to see the future of Puerto Rico include statehood. However, that is for the islanders to decide freely through the democratic process. And I look forward to that day when you can have the opportunity to do just that. Puerto Ricans favoring statehood will open an office in Washington to actively promote their cause. some 3.6 million people in Puerto Rico who are among the most patriotic of all Americans who respect their citizenship and love their country and I'm hoping that all America uh, and the mainland in particular can see the love that these people have for their country and how they want that relationship to be a permanent relationship uh, knowing that permanency can only come through self-determination that would result in statehood. <laughs> So our group decided some years ago to start collecting individually signed petitions to Congress and we have delivered to date 350,000 petitions of statehood to Congress. The general feeling in Puerto Rico has been to have permanent union with the United States and we believe that permanent union can only be achieved through statehood. Not being a state of the union is not being able to exercise our sovereign rights to determine our own political future. As I have said before, I would personally like to see the future of Puerto Rico include statehood. However, that is for the islanders to decide freely through the democratic process. And I look forward to that day when you can have the opportunity to do just that. <laughs> 